I'll be going to be doing a few things. This time, I would like to extend the, the second portion of the first video that we had regarding how to make your own charge water at home. Well, uh, the charger only lasts a few weeks or a few months. You will notice that the, the change of color of the, the reactor to maybe change the ground or that and that. It means that you have to replace it because the design that we make is uh, disposable. Actually, there are a lot of expensive units of this in the market. Uh, costing about more or less a thousand dollars to have it. Because they are made of platinum, I think in, in platinum. And what we, uh, what we did was to make the, the, the cheaper one, which is the stainless steel. Cost you about, in the Philippines, 650 pesos per kilo for that, uh, for that wire that we use. So once you notice that the, it is discoloring, so it means that uh, you have to make another new, a new, a new one of that. I mean, you have to discard the old one. And another thing is that when you are uh, charging your container of water, say if you have a 20 liter gallon, a 20 liter uh, container of water, and you want to fit with it, you have to make it, uh, the level should be higher than the reactor. Okay? Now, at this point in time, we would like to show you that how would you test if your water is good or not? Okay, we have here a uh, pH scale where you can see by dropping uh, at least the three drops of this to a particular water that you are using and it will discolor. If it ye turns to yellow, it means it is acidic. If it turns to green, it means it, it's a tough water. And if it's, it turns to blue, it means it's alkaline. Okay, so you know the importance of alkaline in the body. Uh, a body which is uh, with the right pH, the, the uh, cancer cell will not survive in this place. So here we're going to show you how you're going to test your treated water with our charger. So this is a, uh, this is a distilled water, this one is a top water, and this one came from the charge water that we're using here. So we will start with the top water. This is one from the from where we get our supply of water. So we get this, we, we put some drop of this, and what we will notice is that this one all, all of a sudden turns into green. So this means that this is a stop water. Okay? Then we'll try pouring in a uh, distilled water okay and now we're going to drop some few of this pH scale chemical that you can buy uh, in uh, hardware or in a place where, where they, they sell equipment for water purifier and distiller etc. So again we put some three drops of this and what we do will notice is that this distilled water displays the, the acidity of it. Now we're going to show you this one is the the water from the the one we treated with the you know the reactor that, we, that I've shown in the video. So we're gonna pour some pour some of this and again we put some drops three three drops of this the scale and you will notice that the water turns to blue. Okay? It shows that the water that is being treated by the reactor, although it came from the top water that we're using, makes a lot of difference because it was charged. Huh? So it means at the bottom of this you will show that there are three pH. The yellow shows pH 6, the green shows pH 7 and the blue shows pH 8 and 9. Okay? This one costs about uh, more than 170 in the future. So, what I want to emphasize is that even we use the tough water here at home, the result 
compared to the acidity of the distilled water, shows that it is safe for the consumption. Another test that we normally do here is to try putting a bottle uh, this on a big bottle like on a big big glass like this for you to test the have here the uh, power test. Just simply holding the water, taking samples of this one and putting it in a glass and trying to lock the thumb and your point finger and let somebody open up open it up for you. From there you will notice that you have a lot of strength and power with the charged water that we charge with our reactor. What you will notice is that you cannot, somebody has to open this for you. And you will notice that that is going to be a hard one. It's not going to be very easy for him to open it. So that is what we call the uh, power test. And from there you will notice, same thing goes, you have to do it with your tap water and you have to do it with the distilled water. For you to, to see the difference between the three, which one provides energy. So just simply holding a glass full of charged water and a glass full of a, uh, a, a distilled water and a glass full of tap water, you will notice that the tap water can be easily opened so as the distilled water. So we have shown you the fire test wherein you, you will test the bubbles of the reactor of the water that you're treating, whether it contains hydrogen. hydrogen. So it will burst. Second, you, this is the power test where you will lock the finger and let somebody open it up for you. So, when you simply holding the, the glass of liquid water, you will feel the energy. And, taste, and thirdly, you, you have to taste the water. So, you will notice that there is a great difference. In terms of test, tasting it, your own way. So, so for you to, to, to know it, you can do it at home. Thank you very much. And next time you watch out for the my third video, it has something to do with how you can save gasoline, 30, 40, up to 50 percent, and how to do it in your home. So we'll be having a video regarding this that's showing you that it's very easy for you to make your own gasoline saver at home. You know, the problem with gasoline is worldwide. So everybody suffering the pains of uh, paying so much of the gasoline nowadays. So in that video, what for it? Rain, we will be showing to you how to reduce your gasoline consumption to the, the, the things we're going to teach you in the video. Rain is going to save 30, 40, 50 percent and it will reduce the hydrocarbon emissions of your car from 70 to 90 percent plus it will increase 40% more power. So saving gasoline, increasing the power of your car, and reducing the emission, which is very environment friendly. So again, this is Pito Ada, thank you very much. And I hope you try it. Thank you very much.